Aidan Stephen is on a five-fight winning streak. The Scots has featured on recent Cage Warriors shows, defeating both Kingsley Crawford and Chris Des Edwards. Beautiful Kamara attempt, frozen all the way through, and he's got the submission. I'm on a great win streak just now over some tough opponents, and tonight's going to be my best performance today. My fight style is unpredictable, exciting. I'm always looking for the finish, and I'm comfortable for every fight goes. Steve Amable's own form has also been impressive. Diddy Kong is on his own three-fight win run, which started when he caught Liam Bennett early in Wales. There's the finish, and it's over! Been in great form my last three fights. I'm improving with every training camp. You're going to see an improved Diddy Kong tonight. If Aimable can get past Steven, then a shot at the featherweight title could be on the horizon. But the Scot has the same incentive to win. Aidan Steven, he's a great fighter, but I believe I have all the tools to beat him. I'm going to put that pressure on and I'm coming out of the way. The key for me is to outwork him, keep the pressure on and I will get the finish. I'm going to back him up and I'm going to get that finish. A win tonight will put me right up there and hopefully in line for a title shot. After I beat Aidan Stephen tonight, there's no one out of there that deserves that title shot more than me. It looks a great matchup. Stephen takes on Aimable. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome your next fighter, making the wall to the cage in the blue corner. The phenomenal Aidan Stephen. Back to the action here at Cage Warriors 105. Joshua, the featherweight tournament towards the end of 2018, and we've seen two gentlemen here who perhaps were a little bit missed, and they didn't get a spot in that tournament, and they're really both pushing for that featherweight title opportunity in 2019. Yeah, both guys are really looking to drive everything forward. Aiden Stephen coming in six and one is his professional record. Uh, three subs out of those six wins. Uh, similar record at amateur for him actually as well. We last saw him at Cage Warriors 102 against Kingsley Crawford. Uh, that was back in December. Oh, sorry, and uh, in December he stopped uh, long-time Cage Warriors vet Chris Edwards by Kimura. Uh, the question is, can he deal with the physicality of Steve Amable tonight? Because it's a little bit of a different prospect in that matchup. Yeah, absolutely. Now, what you talked about, Josh, he's got an experienced amateur background with a strong submission game. You've got to, if you're going to submit a guy like Chris Edwards, incredibly experienced. And he's stayed busy. This is his third Cage Warriors fight inside six months. And when you're talking about wanting to be a guy who's considered for those title opportunities, racking up the wins at the pace that Aiden Stephen has done, it's pretty much the A1 route. Yeah, absolutely. You know, get the fights in, do well in them, you know, take out everybody in front of you and don't take much time off. It's, it's pretty much going to get you there. So, uh, Aiden Stephen making good strides. Blues welcome his opponents, making the walk to the cage in the red corner. Steve Diddy well, a man who is very familiar with this cage and indeed this venue, Josh, Steve Diddy Kong, aimable. A gentleman whose fights you and I have commentated on a number of times over the years, going back to uh, his British Championship run in, in PC MMA, which is now the Cage Warriors Academy Southwest. Yes, yeah, Steve Amiable is someone who's very familiar with this venue, very familiar to Cage Warriors as well. He's fought five times on Cage Warriors before, and he's won his last three appearances at 97, 99, and 102. He's on a very nice run, in fact, five from his last six. Uh, we lost to him in December. He picked up a win at Cage Warriors 102. Uh, sorry, decision win at Cage Warriors 102 back in March. That was against Declan McLeanan. Uh He's had a, a good couple of years, you know, great striking, good wrestling. Uh, really just puts it together and is a very formidable package. You can see there, very heavily muscled, always in shape. Never really a question that 3 5 is going to be tough for him. It always looked like a tanker, lightweight, as we were talking about before this one started. How does this man but not only make 145 pounds, but then have the cardio to go through three hard, fast, high pressure rounds? And make no mistake about it, he is a high pressure fighter. 
Yeah, he is. He's going to push forward. He's going to land strikes and he's going to pin uh, Stephen to the, the the wall and try and put him on the ground and do some damage from there if he gets the chance. So very excited for this one. ISO Sport tail of the claim for this featherweight contest. 27 years old is Aiden Stevens. Slightly the senior at 31 is Steve Amable. Amable the slightly shorter fighter at 5'7 to Stevens 5'10. 6'1-0 is the record for the Scotsman. 13-5-0 is the record for Diddy Kong. However, it's Aiden Stephen who is the bookmaker's favourite for this contest. Will for our MC in the cage, Mr. Hal Chaplin, to get this one underway. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, he stands 5 feet 10 tall, official weight 145.8 pounds, he is fighting out of Elgin in Scotland and holds a professional mixed martial arts record of 6 wins with 1 defeat, introducing to you the phenomenal And his opponent stands across the cage, fighting on the right corner. He stands five feet seven inches tall. Official weight, 145.4 pounds. He is fighting at a follow in England and boasts a professional mixed martial arts record of 13 wins with five defeats. Introducing to you, Steve. Your referee in charge when the action begins, Mr. Mark Goddard. Referee Mark Goddard in charge of this contest. Three five-minute rounds should they need them. In the cage, Warriors famous featherweight division. Steve Amable in the multicolour camo shorts. Taking on the phenomenal Aidan Stephen in the black. Already you see Steve Amable covering that distance to get right in his man's face. Spears him with a jab there. It's just a little bit of an errant low blow. Let's see how fast both of these guys move and get in and out. Cover distance. It's one of the compelling things about this matchup. Oh, crack Steve Amable with a crisp right hand there. That's Aiden Steven. He's doing a good job using that reach advantage. A lot of movement. It's been great to see both these guys really coming along and developing and really coming into their own over recent fights with Cage Warriors. Yeah. Both guys now in a position to trouble the top end of the 145 pound rankings. Yeah, and that's what's on the line here, you know, neither one's going to want that momentum snap. I just saw a tweet from our featherweight champion Dean Truman. He said he's tuning in specifically to keep an eye on this contest. Yeah, how about that match with Matt Burnell coming up? Oh my goodness, what a fight that is going to be. Six title fights next month at Night of Champions, and that might just be one of the most entertaining on the bill. So Amable with the center of the cage here. He's been doing a good job pushing forward, but a lot of the work rate's coming back from uh, Aiden Stephen. Yeah, Stephen with the attempted Superman off the cage there. Nice inside leg kick from Steve Amable. Uh, Switch stance to the inside kick has worked a couple of times for, for Stephen. Nice right hand there from Aiden Stephen. Look for a second like Amable was actually going to pin him back towards the cage a little bit, but fires and circles off. You see, he just seems to be pushing him a little bit further back each time. Another big leg kick from Steve Amable there. Piling on the pressure. Stephen's got a big red well right across the belly there from, I believe, a number of jabs and a couple of front kicks. Yeah, very apparent. He lands a good chop and low kick of his own. Good technical striking battle from these two. Probably a bit of unfair of me to call that a belly on that. <laughs> on Aiden Stephen. Oh, nice slapping head kick there. Stephen mixing up the angles of attack. 
Our first clinch here doesn't last long though. Yeah, they're both hitting good target areas. You know, you see they're both going to the body, they're both going to the head, they're both going to the legs. And it's still Steve Amable on the front foot, but as you said, Josh, everything's coming back. Yeah, just, I mean, you know, the whole aspect of cage control only really comes into it when it's very, very even, if one of them can pull ahead a little bit. No, catching kicks. That was a much more significant kick, really caught the inside of the knee. It's almost the case of anything you can do, I can do better than these two. Happy to stand and exchange techniques in the middle of the cage here. And the crowd at Charter Hall, very appreciative. Yeah, nobody's really yet to, or, or everybody's yet to land very cleanly. They're all glancing blows, and that's due to the good defensive movement of both fighters here. The, the kicks landing has been the most significant things. Well, right, Amable just upsetting the balance of Aiden Stephen there. Our first clinch, body lock for Amable, not able to put him on the ground though. That was a good jab. Very stiff arm on that jab there. One thing we do know about Steve Amable, he's got a very good top game when he gets his man to the ground. He's really able to shave 30 seconds to a minute off the clock quite easily. I think it's a really hard round for the judges. I mean, both guys have had good, significant strikes, good glancing strikes. That was a nice right hand from Steve Amable there. Aiden Steven now looks to be right back in the fight. Both guys looking very loose, really finding a rhythm now. Yeah, that was beautiful movement from Steven. Didn't really amount to much. Ooh, and what a metaphor for that round at the, the very last second. They both throw the same technique, both land. I mean, that really was a, not, not a stalemate that nothing happened, but no one really got an advantage there. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, let's take a look at some of the replays here. This was a, a big stiff jab from Amable. And they both found the home up top. I think perhaps Amable got the better of the kicks over the, over the course of it. I mean, let's take a look at the head kick that was, was blocked. Well, sort of blocked. Yeah, just caught him with the toes on that head kick there. Amiable firing back though with some nice stiff leg kicks, both the inside and here we see the outside of the legs. Yeah, that's why I wonder if it was such an even round that that constant pressure forward from Amiable genuinely is gonna gonna play into the scorecards there. Really wouldn't want to pick that first round. Well, our judges may not yet have to. Ten more minutes. For Aiden Steven and Steve Amable to pick this one apart. Trading in the pocket again of these two featherweights. Yeah, that's good work for, for Steven in that one. Huge leg kick from Aiden Steven, but he ends up once again backed up to the cage by Steve Amable. I couldn't tell if Amable wanted to follow up on him or if Steven was just so fast that he never got the chance. But we're there to get out of the way of that leg kick. Scottish MMA well represented at the moment on Cage Warriors. Of course, our welterweight champion Ross Houston. He'll be in action in the unification bout against Nicholas Dalby in a month's time at Night of Champions. We haven't really seen too much clinching going on in this one. I wonder if either one is a little bit wary about the threat on the ground. Amiable worried about the submission attempts possibly from Stephen, but Stephen, knowing he's got to try and out-wrestle somebody like Amiable, could be optionally cancelling each other out. Stephen throwing combinations here. And again, Josh, neither fighter... Well, I was say, neither fighter's <laughs> landed anything significantly cleanly, but... A left hand got through from Steve Amable there, and a right. Yeah, I think it's the left and the right behind each other. Probably it's two of the most significant punches we've seen so far. He's definitely starting to get the better of the leg kicks as well. Yeah, 
catches that one on the arm to Steve Amabel. And he's got that veteran savvy, Josh. Like we say, we've been calling this guy's fight for many, many years. There's not much that's going to surprise him in the cage. Yeah, he's got borderline three times as many pro bouts as, as Aiden Stevens. So, a lot of cage time, a lot of experience. Oh, that's a good kick. Beautiful work to turn that leg over on the high kick. Only caught his man with the toes and the flat of the foot there. I mean, you really need to time it right and get your opponent with his hand either extended or dropped because he's going to come high up over the shoulder and turn the kick over on the hip. Beautiful work from him. Counter left hook just missed by inches there for Steve Amable. And they are trading once more. That's much better from Steven. He's had a few really good exchanges now. Steven looking to shift the momentum in this contest. Giving Steve Amable a lot to think about with different angles of attack. Amable trying to punch his way through the guard of Aiden Steven though. Oh, oh, big shot from Steve Amable. Big right hand. And he's got Stephen wobbled. Yeah, look at him turn it on now. He's seen that he's hurt him, but looks like Stephen's recovered a little bit. Good head movement to avoid some of these big shots coming in from Aiden Stephen. Aiden not slowing down. Really staying in his face, but staying composed as well. It was a, it was a good controlled flurry. Yeah, he doesn't want to get reckless here and get caught with a big counter. We've seen how fast Aiden Steve can get those legs up to head height. Steven with a cut. It looks to be just over the bridge of the nose here. Nothing too significant at this stage, though. And another nice left hand from Steve Amable. Oh, he's giving Aiden Steve a lot to think about here. A huge momentum shift, isn't there? Amable's just not going away, keeping coming forward. There's almost no respite for Steven, who manages to fire something back now. Yeah, you speak to fighters who go up against guys like Steve Amable, and they say, you know, you're just waiting for that couple of seconds where you can take a breath and collect your thoughts, and it never comes. Yeah, and, and you, I don't think Steve Amable has ever actually been stopped in a fight. He's, he's lost on decisions. I don't think he's ever really been stopped, and... You know, that's really got to play into your mind coming into this one. Nice leg kick landed. There from Aiden Stephen. Ooh. One, two. He's got 20 seconds left in this round. He's going to need something big to take it back. See, you need those follow-up shots. You've got to throw in volume. You've got to throw uh, combinations. It's going to be that second, third, fourth shot that lands. Powering forward is Steven. Oh, the round. Woo. I think on balance, Steve Amy will do that, did the better of the work during that round. I think that was a little bit clearer in how to separate the two of these fighters than that first round. Really wouldn't want to assume anything, though. Let's take a look at some of the action. There's a nice one-two there. Stepped in with the lead left hand. And big shots behind it from Steve Amable. It's good head work from Steven, wasn't it? Bobbing and weaving inside the pocket. This was that good head kick, though. Yeah, and he caught Amable dropping that left hand. Came all the way over the top. And a nice big right hand snapped the head back. And this was the start of that big flurry. And a big scoring period for Steve Amable there. Yeah, you saw the kind of pressure he could put on during that 30 seconds of the round. Just never let his opponent breathe. Never got out of his face. Kept throwing at him. And Josh, ordinarily, this is where we might ask the question, has Steve Amable emptied the tank perhaps in that second round? But we know, we know, he he hasn't. Hasn't. We know this guy can go for the full 15. Yeah. Surely Steve Amable ahead on the judges' scorecards though, Josh. Absolutely in the second round. First is, is still very much up in the air. It's hard to think back to who did the better work there. Luckily, we've got three very good judges. Cade side to decide this. On balance, I'm going to say Amable's ahead, but honestly not sure. Oh, we'd love to hear your opinions on social media. Use the hashtag CW105 at Cage Warriors on Twitter. Cage Warriors on Facebook and Instagram. Both men tra trading shots there. 
This is the first sort of period of the fight where we've seen Steven come forward a little bit more. It's been aimable pushing forward the whole time, but I think Steven's got to go forward here. Steven doing a good job of keeping Steve aimable guessing. Clipped him with a cuffing right hand there. See what Aimable does do well with the shots that land is he, he transmits his whole body forward. It's not just the arm firing out and the shoulder rotating. He really, some of the ones that have landed the most, he's leaped forward and covered so much distance. He's got a real stiff arm with that straight right hand as well. He snapped the head of Steve Aimable back on a number of occasions. And against a less pressure focused fighter, the game plan of Aiden Stephen may have put many men down already. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, he landed a good combination there. Oh, Aimable walked into that one. Most of them have been blocked, but they're both starting to wear those legs out again now. Yeah, Aimable's got to be careful. He's got to stay focused here. And it looks like he's been opened up just above the eye. You saw him look to, to wipe his eye there, and he, he's got just a little nick above his right eye. Oh, he ate him right there on the counter. Good work from Steven. Oh, oh, finger to the eye there from Aiden Steven. Uh, unintentional, I'm sure. But that's the same eye that Steve Aimable's got that little nick on. The, the cut looks to be just on the brow. Stay there. I think the cut's fine, it's just going to be a case of whether he hopefully didn't get scratched or anything with the... Let's have a look at the replay here. Let's take a look at the replay there. Oh, and very clear. Very clear with that left hand. And it's that pouring technique to find your range that we see so much of in mixed martial arts. Totally accidental. I'm sure he's just going to get a warning and told to keep his hand closed when he extends it. it was definitely accidental. That's not going to help Steve Amiable right now. We're going to have to wait to see what our doctor says, and the doctor says yes. This is going to continue. Now, is this going to have disrupted the focus of Steve Amable, or is it going to light a fire underneath him? Good show of respect from the guys, but they're getting straight back into it. Oh, both guys trading huge shots here. The work rate. Everything being left in the cage. Aiden Steven and Steve Aimable in a dog fight here in Colchester. Steven throwing the kicks up high. They're getting blocked on the arms each time. Oh, looking for the spinning kick there. Yeah, first takedown. And this is where this is where Steven's got to be careful. If Aimable cements the position on top of him and wears the clock down. Hugging on the hips here. Nice elbow there from Aiden Steven. See, he's trying to stop him connecting his hands together, but Amiable does. Looks to knock him down to the ground. It's a strong body lock, single hook. Oh, no, shakes off. He's got to break those hands apart. That's probably going to involve trying to sit his hips down as he pushes into the wrist. There you go. Aiden Steven doing his level best here to strip that grip. I wonder if I think Amiable is going to, well, Kamora Griff is going to throw him here. Oh, we saw him take out Chris Edwards with the Kimura. Amiable straightening his arm in defense. Oh, that's a rough angle. No, oh, Steve Amiable guts it out. As long as the arm's straight, he's safe. You know, it takes all the bend out, takes the pressure away. There is an arm bar you can follow up with, but from that position, never going to happen. And this is where we've seen Steve Amable do some great work earlier in his career. I think Amable's going to grind him out here for the last minute. I think he's going to stay on those hips. If Steven manages to partially stand back up, Amable's going to dump him back down. Grind this clock away. Aiden Steven back to his feet, but what can he do here with 44 seconds on the clock? Steve Amable breaks away. And they're trading again, Aimable, with the body lock and the takedown. Yeah, they did a good job driving forward there, putting a bend in the spine. You see, this is it. Once he's got around the hips, he's got his, hip, his hands connected so hard to break that grip. And he gets someone as dogged, and as you said, Brad, pressure fighter like Aimable, it's so hard to deal with. Final seconds of the round. Well, he's going to defend the guillotine here, but I think he's... 
going to be pretty safe here. And the crowd here at Charter Hall on their feet. Oh, Both both fighters raising their hands to the sky as well they might. That was a Herculean effort on the part of both. Yeah, great match from both of them. It's going to go to the judges' scorecards. I'm pretty certain Steve Ames will take in round two and three. So, as awkward as, awkward as round one was to score, I think Amy is going to grab this. Let's take a look at some of the action here. Both guys landing shots in these exchanges, and this was a really wild throwdown. Amy does such a good job of reframing when the, the attempt to clinch is coming in and then restriking. Saw it several times there. Man, this one is attracting the attention of the great and the good of UK MMA. Laurent Murphy calling out the winner of this one. That'd be an interesting contest. Sure, Cage Warriors matchmaker Ian Dean has plans for the future. Look at the angle of that arm, but as my broadcast colleague Josh Palmer pointed out, he was safe at that angle. Still not the most pleasant thing to look at, but Diddy Kong cuts it out, grinds down the clock. Now let's see how our judges have picked this one apart. We'll throw it to our MC in the cage, Mr. Hal Chaplin, to make it official. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds of mixed martial arts action, we go to the judges' scorecards. Your judges have scored this bout 30, 27, 29, 28, 29, 28, in favour of your winner by way of unanimous decision in the red corner, Steve Diddy Kong!